Panda Hall presents how to make a butterfly rose garden bracelet and earring set. Part 1. How to make the bracelet. For this project you will need 10 12mm clear flat round faceted beads, 18 6mm rose quartz round faceted beads, 71 4mm rose quartz round faceted beads, a butterfly charm, 2 inches of curb chain, ball head pins, a lobster claw clasp, 14 5mm jump rings, 10 eye pins, round nose pliers, wire cutters, and two pairs of flat nose and or long nose pliers. Step 1. Slide a 12mm flat round bead on an eye pin. Form a simple loop above the bead and then trim the excess wire. Repeat this step with the remaining 9 flat round beads. Step 2. Close 9 jump rings completely. You can do this by using both pliers and bending the jump ring back and forth until you hear a clicking sound. Step 3. Open a loop on a beaded eye pin. Attach a closed jump ring to the loop and then close the loop. Take another beaded eye pin and open a loop. Attach the jump ring with the other beaded eye pin attached and then close the loop. Keep connecting the beaded eye pins with the jump ring. You'll end up with a chain of 10 beaded eye pins and 9 jump rings. For your reference, the bracelet so far is about 6 inches, which is about 15 and a quarter centimeters. Step 4. Slide a 6 mm bead on a head pin. Form a simple loop above the bead and then trim the excess wire. This is a completed 6mm bead unit. Make 17 more of these units. Step 5. Slide a 4mm bead on a head pin. Then form a simple loop above the bead and then trim the excess wire. This is a completed 4mm bead unit. Make 70 more of these units. This is what you should have prepared by now. 71 4mm bead units, 18 6mm bead units, and a beaded chain consisting of 10 beaded eye pins and 9 jump rings. Step 6. Open a loop on a 4mm bead unit. Attach the loop to a jump ring on the beaded chain and then close the loop. Attach 6 more 4mm bead units to the same jump ring. Step 7. 
Also attach two 6mm bead units to the same jump ring. A total of seven 4mm bead units and two 6mm bead units should be attached to the one jump ring. Repeat step six with the remaining eight jump rings. Step 7. Open a jump ring and then attach the curb chain and one end of the beaded chain. Close the jump ring. Now open another jump ring, attach a butterfly charm in the other end of the curb chain, and then close the jump ring. Step 8. Open a jump ring and attach one end of the beaded chain. Close the jump ring. Open another jump ring. Attach the jump ring on the end of the beaded chain and then close the jump ring. Open another jump ring. Attach the clasp and the jump ring on the end of the beaded chain. Close the jump ring. Step 9. Open a loop on a 4mm bead unit. Attach to the jump ring closest to the beaded chain on the clasp end. Repeat 3 more times for a total of 4 4mm bead units attached to the one jump ring. Step 10. Repeat step 9, but this time attach the four 4mm bead units to the jump ring attached to the beaded chain and the curb chain. Part 2. How to make the earrings. For this project you will need 12 4mm rose quartz faceted round beads, 4 5mm jump rings, 2 earring posts, 2 butterfly charms, 2 1 inch lengths of curb chain, ball head pins, round nose pliers, wire cutters, 
and two pairs of flat nose and or long nose pliers. The first step is to slide a 4mm bead on a head pin. Form a simple loop above the bead and then trim the excess wire. Repeat three more times for a total of four 4 mm bead units. Step 2. Open a jump ring and attach a 1 inch length of curb chain and one earring post and then close the jump ring. Step 3. Open a jump ring and attach a butterfly charm in the other end of the chain and then close the jump ring. Step 4. Open a loop on a bead unit. Attach the bead unit to the jump ring near the ear post. Attach another bead unit to the chain link right below the jump ring. Again, attach another bead unit to the chain link right below the previous chain link. Continue until you have all six bead units attached to the chain. Repeat all steps for a second earring. This tutorial was brought to you by Panda Hall. Please visit our website at www.pandahall.com.